All right, in this portion of the chapter, we now have all the kinematic formulas at our disposal. We can use these kinematic formulas for solving any problem that at one point seemed impossible. Now we have these tools in our toolbox. We're going to go through and work on some problems that are mixed. So again, we'll use all three of these formulas. And we can refer to these formulas. We have them now, and we can use them at any point, any time. In this problem, there is an arrow being projected vertically by a bow with an initial speed of 40 meters per second and it reaches a target in three seconds. How high is the target located? So that is the elapsed time. Um, when, a, when an arrow is shot, we know that it experiences an acceleration of g, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. What is the distance it travels in the vertical? That would be d, or dy, or delta y. Uh, in this problem, we're going to use d is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared because again we know the initial speed the time through which it accelerates the acceleration which is that of gravity and again the time so we can sub in the values the displacement is equal to the initial speed that's 40 meters per second times the time, three seconds, plus one half times the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, times the square of the time, three seconds, quantity squared. Now let's simplify. 40 times three is 120 meters per second times seconds. Seconds will cancel, will give us meters. Plus three squared is nine, times roughly 10 is 90, times one half is, 90 times one half is 45. Now we have to be careful, 45 what? Second squared would be canceling seconds times seconds and it will leave us with meters. And the one thing we need to remember is that this term is negative. So 120, subtracting about 45, we're estimating with 10, will give us about 76 meters. So that error would have a vertical displacement or a vertical travel of positive 75.9 meters.